Over the last two years, Parks and Rec, alongside the Public Arts Committee, have implemented a program that turns these into something like this. With the help of a grant from the Texas Commission on the Arts, 18 traffic boxes around the original Denton District now display the artwork of local students. They're industrial, they're, they have a purpose at every intersection that there's a light, and we wanted to take that opportunity as a blank canvas to provide an opportunity for art to create some more unique experiences in Denton. Casey Martin is one UNT student who designed not just one, but two traffic boxes that highlight the city's recycling efforts and the upcoming eclipse. It was like such a unique process to actually plan out how the design was going to fit on the actual object itself. And it was actually, even though it was challenging, it was a lot of fun to create. Students from DISD and TWU were also involved. They're our future leaders, our future employers, uh, any way we can get them involved is a positive aspect. And we're able to use their talents to uh, help improve and beautify our community. And it provides a greater opportunity for their work to be recognized. You don't really expect a lot of people to see your artwork, maybe your parents or your school teachers, but having your artwork seen by a lot of people is so important to us as student artists. And I'm very thankful to work for a city that encourages creativity. After the completion of this first phase, Parks and Rec hopes to expand to other areas in Denton to involve the rest of the community. So if they're interested, reach out to the Parks and Recreation Department and we'll get you involved in future uh, calls for artists. In Denton, I'm Kimberly Baroteran.